All right, well, it is now two days later after Bradenton. Uh, we're gonna get the car loaded off the trailer. Um, we had work yesterday all day, and now basically we've got to catch up, get the car off the trailer. I also have to go fix Turkzilla because it actually, the tensioner snapped in half on me last night. Uh, so I had to leave it. We'll have to go back, put a tensioner on it, and drive it back. Not a big deal. Uh, we're gonna get the car unloaded off the trailer, and yeah, go from there. Gotta get the trailer packed up and we're gonna drop it back off at Anthony's. All right, we got everything off the trailer, everything packed away as it was before. We're gonna go drop this back off. All right, we got the trailer unhooked. Goodbye, trailer. All right, so I just made it back to Turdzilla. As you can see, there is no belt on the car. The tensioner snapped right there. Uh, three bolts, we're gonna take that off, put the belt back on, put our new tensioner that I got in that box on here and we'll be all set, good to go. All right, you can see where this thing just snapped. I don't know why. Um, it could have been from the Mark 8 or Cobra engine. It's just whatever one we had to throw on. So I'm just gonna replace it with a new tensioner and we'll be good to go. All right, looks like it's all good. Just check to make sure the belt's on the right way. And everything's pretty much wrapped around. New tensioner is in. We should be good to go. All right, everything looks good. All right, so we just made it over to meet up with Nick. Looks like Jonathan Harder is coming over here too to get his alternator replaced as part of a warranty for the LKQ engine. Nick's over here finishing up on this 5.4 truck that he hates. Yep. And it looks like John just got here. What you doing, punk? Hey! Yo, what's up, dude? What you doing, punk? Gotta get my alternator fixed. I know. Race car. All right, John's gonna pull his car in here. They're gonna swap out the alternator on it, and then we're gonna swap the trans on Turretzilla to Nick's 3650. Too quiet, man. You're quiet. You're quiet. Right there, that's the money shot. That's a pretty looking three valve. What are you doing, kid? All right, Nick just got the alternator out. This is what, the power by the hour bracket. And that's the new alternator that's gonna be going in. Got the old coyote all torn down. Really not that bad of a job. Nick's like taking out the radiator fan, give you a little bit more room. Bye, John. All right, so we got Turzilla pulled in here. Uh, we are gonna be doing the trans swap to a TR3650. Uh, Nick also has a Pro 5.0 shifter on here. The clutch and flywheel should all be good. Basically just take the T45 out, put this bad boy in there, and we'll be good to roll. Uh, we are not sure, I think, 
Not sure if the drive shaft is different or not, but we have nicks here in case we need to use that or not. Um, should be a pretty much easy swap. We're also gonna let a little bit of oil out and put some Marvel Mystery Oil into the engine, see if it cleans up that noise that the engine is making. At least it'll have a good trans in it. All right, I just removed the shifter. Should be good to go up in the car and get this old junk taken out. Real What's that? I'm show you some real speed. Oh shit. Nick's gonna be on his A game. I did my car in 32 minutes. Damn. Taking it out. Check out that suspension though. Alright, first step is to tear the exhaust off of here. It's just the mid pipe. And the drive shaft. Trans starter, all that good stuff. We're gonna get this mid pipe out of here and move on to the next step. There it is. And Nick's getting the drive shaft unbolted. There's the drive shaft. All right guys, so if you wanna know how to change the starter the easy way, it's to pick up one of these UPR K members. Isn't that right, Nick? Yeah, buy yourself one, just for the starter replacement. Just for the starter, I mean, it also has some other benefits, but <laughs> you know, just for the starter, man. I'm hoping these long tubes aren't gonna us over. This one looks tight on that side. It's okay, make it happen. Nick said we'll make it happen. Nick got the starter undone. He's getting the bell housing bolts out. And uh, we're not too far off from pulling this bad boy out. Two more bolts. What was that, like 20 minutes? Yeah, not bad. And as always, Nick has the good old tranny jack. She is all reliable over here. Been taking trannies out since 19 something. That hold. a new train jack. She's beat. She still does the job. She holds. She holds them trainees up. But seriously, how about those R triple eights? Those things were hooking the other night, and they look mean as hell. Shout out to Quinn. Yeah, Quinn. Quinn's all sad. He said he wants to rerun it on a better road. I told him any time. I don't even have fourth gear. Well, pretty soon I'll have fourth gear. I'll have all the gears. This train is won me a lot of money. All right, Nick's cracking her loose. There goes the light. The uh, BBK long twos were binding up the trans right here, um, but by twisting the trans, we were able to pretty much get it out and free. All right, and the old trans is out. This is the old T45. Nick managed to get this out with BBK long tube headers, which was not fun, but he was able to do it. We have the new TR3650 over there, and here's the old one. Has a Pro 5.0 shifter on it that I'll, I'll be selling. This trans is gonna be going back to Chris. And yeah, get a little thumbnail action. All right, after wiggling, finagling, Nick got his little secret and got this 3650 in here with the long tube headers still in place. Well, first of all, he got that one out and this one in with the long tubes in place. Yep. That's the swap master, dude. No, don't ask how I did it. It's a secret. You need this guy to work on your shit. <laughs> My friend Danny was, uh, he had to take his header off to do his T45 trans swap. Really? Yep. Haha, -ha, Danny. <laughs> if you're watching this, shout out. You're getting a 3650? 3650, bro. 
So we just swapped the reverse sensor right here. And that should be all we need to swap to make this thing work. And we just took that off of this trans. All right, we're just about done. We are working on filling the trans fluid. We got the pump down there. Um, what I would like to do before we take it off the lift is drain out a little bit of the oil, try putting some of the mystery oil in place and see if the noise goes away, gets any better, gets any worse, that kind of thing. All right, so, flashlight. Is it dead? Sometimes the button in the back doesn't work. All right, so we're gonna let a little bit of the oil out so that we can put the mystery oil in. The idea is to get a look at this and see what it looks like. You see any metal in there? No shiny? Nope. How's it look, dude? Oh, looks like oil. I don't see any metal or shininess. Hey, I'll get my hand. That'll show you if there's anything in there. No glitter. Yeah. What about the color? What do you think of the color? When's the last time you put oil in it? Well, we did it the... Remember the first time? Okay. Oh, you need to change the oil. You think so? Like, you know, eventually. Wait, did we do the washout yet? Yeah, we did the washout first. Okay, then you should be okay. That's, after we did the first oil change, the noise went away. The one that was constant. Yeah, the lifter. Yeah. I forgot to film it, but we just put the mystery oil in. Nice, nice. How's she looking? Right, perfect. Yeah, that's good. Nice, nice. All right, we got the car on the ground. Clutch is working right. Just putting the shift ball on. Nick has the Mach 1 shift ball. And we you should be good to go. Quick yeah, we had to do so the actual so the factory plastic quadrant actually stripped out, which is fairly common. And a lot of people were commenting about this happening on the Cobra. Um, basically, when I went to go put the clutch down, it stripped. And if I could focus on this, you would actually see that all these teeth are kind of worn down. So we went ahead and put the C to one that was in Nick's car in here. Now we have the Mach 1 shift ball, Pro 5.0, 3650 shifter, and uh, should be good to go. So big shout out to Nick over here. He was able to do the trans swap, which is a 3650 swap into this with BBK long tube headers. They are notorious for being a bitch, and they absolutely work. Uh, Nick was just able to squeeze the trans in and up against the car, and obviously out first. Uh, I think we I think we had more troubles getting the trans out than uh, putting it in. So, yeah. Watch out for the trans behind you. Working? Alright, that's going to wrap up the trans swap on Turdzilla. Uh, we put the mystery oil in it. We're going to see if that works out for that noise. Um, yeah, if you guys need any work done by Nick, let us know down in the description. There's a link to uh, Nick's page, Florida Auto Surgeons. Uh, he can do a lot of good stuff. Coyote swap, simple stuff, brakes, suspension, whatever you need, he can do it. Uh, so that link is down in the description. Uh, we're going to head out of here. Uh, huge thanks again uh, because BBK long tubes and trans swap is notorious for being literally impossible and this guy just did it. Without pulling the long tubes or dropping the K-member. Bam! So yeah, we're gonna roll out. Nick's driving it. <laughs> He's living the Mustang dream. Make him want to finish the coyote swap. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Once and 
happening, so two different things that... It's close. We're gonna make it happen. Yep. Pull the e-brake. Oh. 